how that long ago so was this when you going to like that. when you when you first started going to his parties? How long ago was that? Well, it's not that I went to his party. You know what I'm saying? I'm just <laughs> I'm okay, you make it. Let me get on you. When you start cutting your dreads off, start looking Americanizing. <laughs> You know what I'm, I'm just asking yeah, but now, you. But, but now, what I'm saying, sis, is that this was before allegations. We're talking almost 30 years ago. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. That is Pippin' Kid in the building, man. Hey. I'm gonna jump right in. C C CEO, founder, uh, P. Diddy <laughs> is, 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 is a CEO, too. Yes, sir. And um, what thing I do want to say is um, allegations keep popping out. You used to be in them parties. Right. You one of the guys that was in them parties. You yeah. seen what was going on in them parties. Right. Um, and I just want to know, like, is it is is it as radical as what people are saying? Well, I never seen that type of stuff. P Diddy and I had business, right? So I did an album with his uh, artist called Loom. It sold over a million copies. It did extremely well. So Loom had gave my information to P. Diddy. P. Diddy called me along with his team. They asked me, what is my publishing company? I said, my publishing company is Kid Ivy Publishing. So we uh, negotiated. I said, hey, but I got one favor I want to ask of you. He said, what's the outside? I want Loom to come to my party. I want him to perform for my birthday party. That would close and seal the deal. So that happened. And then about a year later, he called me or six months later. He was What like, time was it? Huh? What time was it? What year? What time of the day? Well, when he called me, mm -hmm. it was like probably uh, <laughs> so it wasn't two o'clock in the morning. No, because no, he called my boy at two o'clock no, in the morning, two thirty, and said, no, "No, but when he when he actually had me to come to his party, he wanted me to come to his party. He put it, who was at that party? He, uh, Jermaine Dupri, uh everybody in Atlanta. You Usher know. was Usher at that party? No, it was, no, <laughs> it, no, no, and, and, and uh. <laughs> And, and me and P. Diddy, when I came to his party, me and my man Paper Chase was in his VIP. You know what I'm saying? So oh. we, when we went in his VIP, it was just me and Paper Chase and him, and he was uh, battling with uh, Jermaine J.P. on the mic. So I didn't see all that, that gay stuff and all that stuff. What I was never Diddy seen. at at the time? He was on, he was on the, uh, it was like a little stand, like a DJ booth, and he was just, you know, talking that shit. Hey, what up, bad boy type. You know? Okay, the allegations are that he was doing a little more than just bad boy on the mic. Well, I don't, I never seen it. You know what I'm saying? That's why I said, you know, I said, I can't say for sure. When I met him, he acted like a street nigga. Then when I went to his party with his mama, when they invited me and Don Juan to New York, to Justin's, you know, when we was at that party, you know, it wasn't no gay. You know but let me ask you this question. But don't y'all have some street code or P code or whatever code that even if you did see some stuff, you still wouldn't say it? No. If I if I see some punk shit, I'm going to tell you, hey, the niggas on some fag shit. They on some punk oh. shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a real nigga. So I'm, I, you know, I, you know, I'm like, man, what the fuck? I'm a custom nigga. I'm like, man, what the fuck y'all niggas got me here for? What the mm -hmm. fuck is this shit? You know what I'm saying? Don't play with me. Then I probably, you know, I probably call my homeboys and say, man, you know, strip them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of thing. You pull me in some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You might get your jury taken. You might get your ass whooped. A whole bunch of shit might happen with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to let you know. I am gutter. I'm street. I'm a businessman, but I will, you know, check it playing with me. You know so, how long ago so was this when you were going to. Like that. When, you, when you first started going to his parties, how long ago was that? Well, it's not that I went to his party. You know what I'm saying? I'm just <laughs> I'm asking. Okay, you. Let me get on you. When you start cutting your dreads off, start looking Americanizing shit. <laughs> You know what I'm, I'm just asking yeah, but now, you. But, but now, what I'm saying, sis, is that this was before allegations. We're talking almost 30 years ago. No, the, no okay, that's the reason so, why so, I'm not. So, stuff going to come no. up from 30 years ago. You sure you wasn't in some of them pictures? Hey, you man, wasn't in some hey, of them hey, rooms? Man, hey, hey, man, <laughs> I, I do have a picture with me and Puffy. You know what I'm saying? Me, Puffy did get in my Everybody movie. had his shirt on? Uh, no, no. No, but what Puffy I'm getting to. Hey, no, I'm asking, did everybody have his shirt on? Because when I'm looking at these pictures now, it's a lot of shirts off. No, it's a no, lot of no, 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 man. I'm telling you, man, if a nigga pull his shirt off me and try to come in that way, I'm going to slap the shit out of him. That's what I'm trying to tell you. What I'm oh, trying God. to ask you. Yeah, yeah, this shit burning up when you listen, made it listen, up. Listen, man, if a nigga come, especially back then, you know what I'm saying, me, I would have whooped the shit playing with me. You know what I'm saying, me? He's in the joint, didn't play with me. I ain't going to let them on the street play with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm a boss for real. You know what I'm saying? I whoop a Take his jury, kick him in his mouth, call him a bitch and everything. He come at me with that punk. You know what I'm saying? Keep that shit over there type shit. 
You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and even at 60, I still whooping niggas ass about playing with me and my masculinity. You know okay, what because I got a question. Because the thing is, what I was trying to get to was, okay, because it was a long time ago, and back then, you know, when I would think that when celebrities throwing parties and stuff like that, especially if they know that you a pimp or, you know, they invite all of them because y'all bringing the no, girls. No, you're asking the wrong question. Hold on. Jamaica. The right <laughs> question is, how many did I bring there for them Hold on, but I'm getting so to that. No, no, no. I was providing the That's what I was getting to, but hold on. This. The but bitch. I what I'm asking back then, was there, was there, was Tra there, was there, was there, was there pimps that had males? No, hell no. Nah. That's what I'm trying you, to you ask. You got because a misconception of the pimping. You know what I'm saying? Pimping is pimping the horn. Not horn the horn. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's pimping the horn. Because you know nowadays so, you have. So if you see me with a she you know gonna be young, fine, and qualified. That's really on the pimp side. You dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's all I'm gonna f with, Miss Jamaica. I'm telling you, I don't f with no men. I don't. Cause I don't you have male prostitutes out there too, don't you? Yeah, but I don't. <laughs> you know, so get it right. <laughs> <laughs> it's in my mix. <laughs> but I'm sure hey, somebody hey, pimping hey, them. Hey, listen, man. Hey, hey, I'm the best that didn't get a game to get away with it. You know what I'm talking about? That's just not me. I don't. I don't. I don't. You know, I, I, don't, I don't participate in that. Well, let me, I, I, I did 10 years in prison and never looked at a man as a woman. And it's a bunch of up in that mother. Definitely mm -hmm. is. Let me ask you a question. Like, you being a person who understand, you know, litigations of certain situations, you've seen what happened with Bill Cosby. You've seen what happened with R. Kelly. You've seen what happened with uh, all these different people, even Epstein. I think he killed himself when he got in there or they killed him. Yeah. But allegedly. But what do you see happening with P. Diddy with this case? Well, let me get to that's Now, that's the appropriate question, right? Now, here's the situation, right? Uh, in the African-American community, it's three Ds, demonize, destroy, and discredit when it comes to black men. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's been a long, long-lasting policy of certain government officials and certain white supremacists to try to bring black men down. You know, that's why when I look at... Uh, Fannie Will Willis down there in uh, in in, in, uh, in uh, Atlanta. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, what they do, yeah. they build us up and then they destroy us. You know what I'm saying. I mean, and whenever you see they a white person really get behind a black person, they build them up like they build Bill Cosby up and they put them on this pedestal, and like R. Kelly and P. Diddy. You know that they're gonna pull the rug. I guarantee you, they haven't done it to him yet. But Jay Z, they probably try to get him. They're gonna try to get uh, like they doing with uh, Asar Rocky. They already getting at him. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they getting at Rihanna. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna be getting at Beyonce. Anybody of natural prominence within our community, they try to destroy because you know. If you look at white supremacy, white supremacy is a religion. When you look at it from the perspective, whenever you read the, uh, your history book and say, George Washington was the greatest president of all time, and so was Jackson. We got him on the dollar bill, and we got him on the $20 bill, but they don't tell you both of them were slaves. You know what I mean? They teach you about Maynard Keynes. They teach you about they Karl slave Marx. owners. Yeah, they teach you about all these white greats, but they don't they teach you about Mansa Musa or, or Kwame Nkuma or, 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 or Charles Drew or Percy Julius, some of the African-American greats. And then when they do, why is Martin Luther King, no disrespect to Martin Luther King, why is Martin Luther King more pronounced and more recognized than Percy Julian? Percy Julian was the first black man to own his own medical facility. He also got over a thousand patents with the gluten company. Not only that, you know what I'm saying, he protested uh, in Chicago, in Oak Park, Chicago, when they burnt his house down because they wanted him to move. He did the same thing Rosa Parks do. Did. He refused to move. He refused to uh, allow the white establishment to bring him down. And, and nobody ever talked about that, but they talk about Martin Luther King because they killed Martin Luther King. You know what I'm saying? So in the backdrop of Martin Luther King, you know, all of these streets, all of this uh, this stuff that they, they got in respects to uh, Martin Luther King, the backdrop of that is, you know, it's a European, you know, person that killed uh, uh, Martin Luther King. Uh, black Wall Street, you think about Black Wall Street on the backdrop of it, they killed 600 black people. So you got to understand, whenever they lifting a black person up, or they taking a black person and they giving them all that recognition, he is always a rug that's being pulled up under them because that's what white supremacy look like, making black folks look like they Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.